Looking for supplies? What are like? What are the different men? There are too many for me to keep track. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Alenko, you, me. I know. If we hadn't gotten pinned down, you would have been there to help him. Um... If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akuz? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. What's your opinion on the last mission? I think the odds are against us. That's what pisses me off. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Commander. Things got heated back on Furmire. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, Garrus. Feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. If we don't stop him soon, it'll be too late. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. 
Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. If Saren finds the Conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I hate being right. I wish I could say I was surprised. I was surprised Udina bought into it. I guess he's like any other politician. The Council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. I don't care if I have to go through the Council. I won't let Sovereign win. That's the spirit, Skipper. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I... want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better.
Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Sounds important. You'd better go. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right, huh? I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Thank you. 
I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of it. The something. Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. He'll be charged with treason. The capital. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here, waiting. No blood for Excuse me. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like shan -Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. It's inappropriate for an active duty officer to publicly comment on politics. Of course. I apologize for making the request. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by.
Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Skipper? Don't you think we're a little past titles? We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers. Sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. My captain. It occurs to me that this might be our last night alive. Got any plans? Trying a frontal assault. Hmm. All that training, you'd think they'd teach you the best approaches indirect. To draw the enemy out of their fixed defenses. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold word, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. Make me. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> you still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Tisk. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? 
Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again.
Charging up. All clear.
I never can figure out where to go on Ilos. I like I missed a turn or something. There should be a bunch of snipers coming up. understand the the ruins on Nihilus don't even make sense like it's clear that they they had more of like an HR Geiger design in mind for the Protheans and then they decided like oh let's just make it look totally different uh, my mouse is broken clearly or no, I'm too close to something. One, one or the other. Am I like specifically not allowed to aim at this thing down here? <laughs> it's, it's, it's only, whatever. Like as soon as I move my mouse cursor over whatever that thing is, it immediately screws up. Everything else aims fine. Um, now I'm lost again. Oh, right, that's a stop. There is no right way. Like I said, I I don't like Ilos. It's probably the shittiest level in the game. Like, in terms of design. I'm shooting at or a
a good thing that you don't need an accuracy rating for the, this insanity achievement. Because I would definitely not get it. Can what? I've literally never seen that happen before in the eight million times I've played the game. Is that new for nah? They wouldn't have added new features. EA is way too lazy for that. Uh, you could probably do that for the last fifteen years. I just probably didn't notice. Or didn't remember, rather. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. To figure out how to avoid these armatures without dying. <laughs> Who's this little bitch firing all the rockets?
should have, should have remembered that. Oh, well, I'm not gonna have to kill this, am I? Okay, I guess unless they're enemies, you literally can't aim at them. Shouldn't there be like a staircase going up around here? Or a ramp, rather? Oh, right, there's more dudes up here. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. <laughs> it is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Ah, too bad. Not gonna get to 60, probably. Um, Master Warp. This entire level always makes me feel stupid. So I gotta go up here, right? That's what I just did. Shouldn't there be an elevator or something here? like another elevator. But apparently it's this one. Thank you. 
already time to get totally spammed. Well, I have spent my life studying Corinthians, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. Why is it not driving like straight? This? this bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. Yes. What is happening? I do not think Saren is behind this. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever it is, we should be careful. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you, unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. 
That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning, a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. 
This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the Conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data Shepherd, file. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer... This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity... We're right. in a race to save the galaxy and you, you are right. Play. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. The Protheans did not fail. They gave us a chance. It falls to us to make the most of it, so I suggest we hurry. Fucking the the reticle disappeared. I can't get it to come back. 
Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal, I guess. Incredible. Yes, let's stop we don't and start have time it. To admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. I love the music in this scene. Not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel Control. Citadel Control. Do you copy? You can see it physically launched the Mako model up into the sky. 